Hi, I'm Tim Gideon, lead audio analyst for PC Magazine, and I'm in San Francisco today because this morning I went to the Apple event. You've probably heard all about it by now. Lots of new iPods. First, we've got the new shuffles. They're just different colors. We don't care about them. We've got new nanos. They show video. I've got one right here. I'll show you a little bit more on that later. We've got the iPod Classics. They're just an update to the old video iPods you're used to. And we also have the iPod Touch. It's awesome. It's basically an iPhone without the phone. It's beautiful. I want one. We don't have one yet, and no one does. But let's take a look at the Nano while we have it here. So this is the old Nano, and this is the new Nano with video. As you can see, there's actually no real footage on it right now because they have not updated iTunes to 7.4 yet. Once they do, we'll have a full review for you. If we had music, <laughs> you'd be looking at an album cover floating around in this space right now. And if we had photos, you'd be looking at a thumbnail menu in here. But we don't, so let me just show you some of the stuff that we can check out right now. So these graphics here in the extras menu uh, definitely did not exist on the last Nano. We've also got games in here. Vortex is what Steve Jobs played at the uh, convention center today, and it seemed very violent to me. I have no idea how to play this game, folks, but as you can see, the screen is beautiful on this, and that's a total difference from the last Nano, which was basically only showing text and a little bit of album art. So there's not much to talk about until we have the uh, iTunes update 7.4. You're going to need it if you plan on buying a new Nano or any of the other iPods. I'll be writing the review very soon, so you should check right back here, pcmag.com.